Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot and Astrology. I uh, won't be doing astrology today, but I will probably use a tarot and maybe Kipper, uh, we'll see. I wanted to look into, uh, I wanted to do an update on Putin's health, see how he's doing, you know, as of uh, May, whatever, mid-May uh, 2023. So anyway, uh, let me swap out cameras here. I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided to just use a regular Rider weight, and um, I'm using a deck that I have astrological symbols written on that I I've used to use for, well, when I did the teaching videos. Uh, and I'm using this deck because it helps me to get into the... Um, you know, the physical body. And so this is just going to be on his health. That's all I'm focusing in on. The only thing is I need to allow for reversals because the cards are all upright. So give me a second here. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, so this would be our forces in motion here. His greatest challenge. Okay, what's, what's really going on here? What's interesting, these are all upright. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Make sure these are. I always tend to cut off the edges sometimes when, you know, it, it sometimes it uploads perfectly the way I have it on the screen. The other times it cuts off one side or the other. Oh dear goodness. Okay. <laughs> As readers, all the readers out there, you guys know. When you get the death card, it can just be big change. But when it comes with the ten of swords or the four of swords. Uh, that is death. Ah, uh, okay. So, well, actually, hold on. Maybe I can. Let's let's do this. Let's put as many cards as we can. Get the full story. Unless he's just already dead. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it here. But then again. I always, I tend to look at these cards up here as what's hanging over the person. So, okay, let's keep going. Yeah, I don't know that he's going to have peace and, well, then again. When it comes to the spiritual essence of a person, it's, to me, it's different. The spirit is different than the soul. Like, the spiritual essence is already coming from the divine. And when you know we have our we have our soul substance that can be just extremely distorted and messed up and that uh, changes uh, the way a person is on earth but when they go back to spirit it's you know it's pretty much well this is to bring it into a health situation this is my card for the spiritual fluids uh, but okay hold on let's just go this way so starting here with the uh, Queen of Cups, this the forces in motion might be that there's someone uh, taking care of him. Uh, there's there's someone nurturing him. Uh, I think yeah, I, I feel like that it's just a somebody who is who knows that they need to care for his body. And uh, it's it's a woman, of course. Yeah, because it's not reversed, I can't really say that um, they're moody or anything like that. I uh, the Knight of Wands coming in as his uh, greatest challenges. I will. <laughs> this is our card for big changes, but then on a health level, uh, it's just too much. Like he's burning up. 
if she would have been reversed, I would say, you know, his fluids were backing up, but this is too this is too hot right here with this this guy. Um it's also my card for liver and blood issues. And uh, whoever this woman is, she's been focusing in on his long-term, you know, right? This is also, when it comes to reversed uh, in uh, health readings, this is my card for addictions. So, yeah. So, anyway, liver issues, blood sugar issues, alcohol, I would say, uh, you know, yeah. All of these cards... Uh, so with the Eight of Wands and a health issue, it's I think he's having major headaches. Um, yeah, Mercury and Sag. He he's thinking quickly. Is he's out? I think he's out of his body. Uh, whether or not he's dead, but these two cards. If he's not dead now, it's coming up. <sighs> yeah, out of his body out of his mind. Uh, he might be worried about spies, I'm thinking with this card. And here I said I was just going to read on only the health level, but <laughs> feeling spies there. Um, yeah, circulatory issues with this one. Issues with legs with this one as well. And I don't know, maybe, let's see, if I turned myself this way, this would maybe his right leg. Okay, let's move over here. So some other issues here, again, circulatory with uh, movement. Uh, yeah, this, this one seems to me to be uh, more addictions. And it's also a card. And actually, you know, we could say either one of these, but to have both of them together, we're talking lymphatic system. And his his body's trying to uh, defend itself. Again, moon and Sag, right? That movement that just keeps circling around and very defensive. Like he's he's beat up over this circulatory issue here lymphatic tissue issue. Um, so I'm thinking lymphatic cancer, liver cancer. Uh, then with the full, <laughs> this is nervous system. This is being out of control of your body. So these cards all speak to me of cancer and Parkinson's or some nervous system issue where he, he you know, shaky leg kind of thing going on here. Wow, it's all right here. And if we do a knighting type of a, you know, system that I, I often do, uh, this is what ends him, right? I mean, wow, 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 wow. Uh, this could be, uh, I know you guys have, have, um, have commented before uh, about colon cancer, so that might be the case here, uh, because this this card, the death card, definitely rules. Well, it rules the bladder too, and prostate cancer, and you know the, any of the genital system, any of the um, uh, what what do we call it? The re reproductive system, right? With Scorpio, yeah. So there's that. And then again with the fluids here. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups. Yeah. It's also, you know, when it comes to a health issue, uh, it can be a person's just overwhelming uh, emotional reactions. And it can be a card of energy vampires with this connection here. And somebody who goes into fits of rage. Yeah. 
And I purposely set the intention to not empath any of the crap that's going on in his body. So I'm relying heavily on the cards here. I do not want to feel what's going on there. Um, yeah, so and then with the Ten of Swords, uh, I mean, of course, it's like, like Lori says, face plant. Uh, again, nervous. I mean, any of the swords relate to our nervous system. Uh, Uranus rules this card, and so and, and Aquarius does rule the, the ankles and lower legs. And we've got, you know, the shaky leg thing going on here. Uh, but here it's like he's just a face plant. I don't know that he has control over his body. And if this, if he's dead already, then this would show the cause and the care for the body. If he's not dead, he's going to be dead soon. And uh, if he's going through the death process now, you know, because it can take days and weeks when, once you're totally fully down and nothing else is happening that's going to bring you to life. You're, it's those final days. You know, your, your mind starts thinking about regrets and things that I could have done and things I could have changed. And, you know, so that just may be very well what's going on here. But yeah, so uh, Ten of Swords in a health reading has to do with um, defeat and major crisis and failure and, um, you know, nervous system, weaknesses that way, weaknesses breathing. Just think of, you know, all these swords in the lungs. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. And then with the Seven of Pentacles, uh, Saturn and Taurus. Yeah, <laughs> man. Taurus rules the body. Saturn is limitations. And, um, well, it all depends, right? But anyway, so Seven of Pentacles in a health reading to me has to do with... Um, Like what's what's he what's he trying to bring through? Uh, for his yeah, major frustrations definitely. But I I feel like this might be honestly, you know what you guys? I feel like this might be the seeds. And I wasn't asking for that kind of guidance, but because these two cards came through here, I'm feeling like these cards are the seeds of what he's planting in his next lifetime. And who knows how long it would take, you know, being in the spirit world, you might um, you, you might take quite a bit more time before you come into your next lifetime. But I think this card is saying the seven chakras of his next lifetime is what I'm feeling here. And then notice we have another seven as Mars and Leo. He's definitely going to come in feeling like he uh, has to fight, has to battle. Wow. It has to battle, and then tons of emotional issues, I'm thinking. Probably would come into a foreign land, of course, with the Three of Wands there. But on a health level, his body, his body... In, a, in this upcoming incarnation would be struggling immensely and overblown type of ego issues, uh, heart issues, brain issues, spinal column issues, prone to fevers, prone to strokes, needing tons of psychic surgery in the uh, spiritual realm or spiritual surgery before he could even come in again. Yeah, major ego things. Uh, and then, again, 
rageaholic issues and sucking up the energy yeah it, it's it's I wouldn't say it's good uh, emotional issues ego issues right all of that uh, wow and then in his next lifetime he'll have whenever you know who knows how long it's going to take right but he's going to have problems with his head again more stroke issues uh he'll be bald he he's not going to be a guy with hair with much hair i wouldn't think he's hot you know we're talking hot headed sun in aries yeah he he may be born in aries Yeah, lots of inflammations I'm getting with this one. And with all the astrology here. Hot-headed, hot-tempered, bald. Yeah. And, I, and then needing a lot of tolerance. And also, again, liver issues, blood sugar issues, gout issues, problems with his hips. Yeah, and, you know, this is also my card for grave illnesses. So, he's not going to be coming in to another lifetime with any purpose, any, like, major life purpose, other than to try and heal his, his major, major karma, and it will be physical. It will all, he will have major physical health issues. Now... Please do not take this in as if you're having health issues that you have terrible karma. Because it's it karma is not that cut and dry. It's never that simple. There are, you know, to me karma is nothing more than the law of cause and effect. And because of certain beliefs, uh, you know, you'll have an effect in your life. So you can always, always, always change your karma by changing your belief system and aligning with the laws of love. But of course, we know that he's been nothing but hateful, nothing but, you know, coming from fear, most of all hatred. And of course, when you're that hateful, you have to be coming from self-hatred, right? And you project that, that outward. So... Yeah, I just want to end with that, <laughs> okay? So I don't want you guys taking any of this in as to if you're going through a health issue uh, that it has to do with your, your karma. But I, I will say, you know, I, I've gone through some health issues myself in the past and and they will make you go inward and um, hopefully, you know, I mean, that's what they're for is to help us go inward and figure out where we're off but only with your belief system. And if we align with the laws of love, we're fine. You know, that it we'll get through it. And if we don't and we cross over, we're going to be fine too because there really is no physical death. There's just well, at least this is what I believe. It's just a spiritual transition. But any tarot reader here knows you get these two cards together and it's definitely down uh, for him. So, when he moves on to the spirit world, uh, it's not going to be fun for him in his next lifetime, I don't think. And, you know, who knows how many hundreds of lifetimes he'll have to have in order to try and heal. Makes me wonder who he was before. Right? Maybe uh, someone with a Napoleon complex, at least, right? I don't know. Maybe Hitler. <laughs> Makes me wonder. Right? Toxic addict. Hitler was an extreme addict. So anyway, I'm going to get this uploaded for you guys. Send you big hugs. Guys and gals, I should say. And um, take good care. Be back soon. Bye.